soccer fields, boom, boom, boom. That's the inflatables. The blue is the bowling alley. Yep. Under, back there in the orange is the laser tag. Arcade. Arcade in the middle, climbing wall, bowling, kids bowling alley underneath on this side. Pizza restaurant. Pizza down here. I'm obviously at Arena Sports today. Arena Sports is a new, huge building. It's a sports facility in Mill Creek. It's actually open, I guess, right now, that they're doing some league stuff right now. But there's a lot of stuff going on, um, and I'm gonna go take a tour of it today, so let's go take a tour. I'm trying to get into this place, and I am. I think I'm lost. I think I've walked around this entire building. I can't figure out where the entrance, entrance just is yet. I mean, maybe they haven't built the entrance yet. Yeah, adult leagues and youth leagues all year round. Um, typically the youth league is only three seasons, just because uh, springtime the teams are going to play outdoor ball. Right. Um, they, they kind of end around November, end of November. Okay. Um, so it's a perfect time for them to come inside and, you know, who wants to play in the, the snow and the rain, right? right? So, and it adds to the, the level of play because outdoor it's 11 v 11. This is 6 v 6 or 7 v 7 based on the age. You can do what's called a house team. Okay. Uh, so a person can bring in uh, you know, one or two people that they know and, and join a house team. And then once we get eight to 10 players, then we'll consider it a team. We'll schedule them through the league. Same Sh for adults. Show up with the team or yeah. you can come. Men's leagues, women's leagues, and co-ed leagues. Yep. So as we start going through, um, you will see some of the attractions. Okay, yeah. Other, other things besides just soccer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is going to be an inflatable area. Okay. Yeah, super similar to all the other arena sports. No, no. Totally, totally unique. Okay. Um, all the other locations are basically soccer fields. Yeah. Like Redmond has three soccer fields kind of like this. And then they also have um, inflatables at Magnuson Park. Magnuson Park has three okay. fields and they have a, a gym on, on the side of it. Bowling eight lanes here. on this framing, is this going to be two levels in here? That's cool. How does, how does that work for league play with officials, referees, and stuff? Is that something you guys supply? Oh, yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, we, uh, we train our own referees. We've always been big on that. We don't like outside organizations just because we like to control uh, the 
quality on the field. Uh -huh. And that's really what Elliot and all our adult league folks and youth really pride ourselves on is like having the best referees and training them in-house. Not just out there to blow the whistle, but also to think about like what is the customer experience. Right. right. It's huge. Fields, boom, boom, boom. That's the inflatables. The blue is the bowling alley. Yep. Under back there in the orange is the laser tag. Arcade in the middle, climbing wall, bowling, kids bowling alley underneath on this side. Pizza down here.